Hallo liebe Leute, das ist Cooking with Kurt. Heute werde ich Ihnen eines der Lieblingsrezepte der deutschen Braten sauerbraten. Take 5 pounds round roast beef, or you can also use I bottom round beef. Season this with kosher salt. Then in a saucepan add 2 cups red wine, 1 cup red wine vinegar, 1 cup apple cider vinegar, 1 onion thinly sliced, 1 carrot thinly sliced, and 4 cups of water. Now we're going to make the spice sachet. In a cheesecloth, add 1 tablespoon pickling spice, 14 juniper berries, 14 cloves, 14 black peppercorns, 1 teaspoon mustard seeds, 3 bay leaves, 3 sprigs of thyme, and 2 sprigs of parsley. Wrap the cheesecloth with twine to make the spice sachet and add to the saucepan. Bring this to a boil, lower the heat and simmer for 5 minutes. Set aside to cool. When the marinade is cooled, take a non-reactive bowl like glass or stainless steel, add the beef, pour the cooled marinade over the beef and cover with plastic. We are going to put this in the fridge for 3 days, turning once or twice per day. Some people think that you have to marinate for up to 5 days, which in my opinion is just not true. 3 days should be plenty of time for the vinegar to marinate this cut of beef. Remove the beef from the marinade and pour the marinade through a strainer into a bowl. Reserve 5 cups of the marinade in the spice sachet and set them aside. Trocknen Sie das Rindfleisch mit einem Köchentuch. Das Fleisch bräunt nicht, wenn es nicht trocken ist. Now we're gonna take a Dutch oven over medium high heat, add 2 tablespoons of butter, add 4 slices of bacon cut into pieces. Saute this for 8 to 10 minutes. Transfer the bacon to a plate lined with paper towels and set aside. Add the beef to the hot oil and brown each side for 2-3 to three minutes per side, about 15 minutes total. Then transfer the beef to a plate and set aside. At this point we're going to preheat the oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. With a heat on medium on the Dutch oven, add 2 onions minced and saute for 15 minutes. Then place the beef on top of the onions, add the 5 cups of reserved marinade and spice sachet and bring to a boil. Once it's boiling, cover with a heavy lid, turn off stove heat and bake in the middle rack of the preheated oven. Until the beef is very tender, about 3.5 to 4 hours, turning the beef 2-3 to three times during that time. Then we're gonna transfer the beef to a plate. Pour the sauce through a strainer into a bowl and set aside. Finally, to make the gravy, it's like a sweet and sour sauce. Return the Dutch oven to medium high heat on the stove. Add 2 tablespoons butter, 3 tablespoons flour, 2 tablespoons sugar, and whisk constantly for about 5 minutes till it becomes brown. Then add the sauce we had set aside, half cup of golden seedless raisins, 6 crumbled ginger snaps and juice from half a lemon. Bring this to a simmer and let this liquid reduce for about 10 minutes. Wunderbar! This is done. If the sauce is too sour for your taste, you can always add one or two additional teaspoons of sugar to balance out the acidity. Slice the beef into half inch slices, spoon the sauce over the top, crumble the bacon we set aside earlier and finally garnish with some parsley. Serviert mit Rotkohl und Kartoffeln. Sauerbraten is delicious on the first day, but even better as leftovers. Let me know in the comment section below if you're planning to make this sauerbraten, and don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Queen Viscur. Tschüss!